great about all of that. Hey guys, it's Paige and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about education because it is so requested from you guys. You guys want to know about the American educational system because if you're Australian and then if you're American, I think you also would want to know about the Australian education system. I don't know too much about it because I've only gone here for just a couple months. So what I'm going to do is talk about the most stuff that I do know, which is about the American education system and then the differences that I have picked up in my time here. And besides that, I'm going to let the comment section just be filled by maybe Australians who know more about your education system so that if Americans come, um, they can maybe check that out in the comment section because I don't necessarily know. I'm just talking about what I do know, so let's get right into the video. So I'm just going to give a quick overview of how the American educational system like categorizes people because you guys asked me that. Um, so first, you guys wanted to know about high school. Like, what is high school? So high school is... Um, grades 9 through 12 yes grades 9 through 12 and normally like if you are a freshman you're gonna be ages 14 to 15 if you're a sophomore you'll be 15 to 16 if you're a junior you will be 17 sorry 16 to 17 and if you're a senior you'll be 17 to 18 excuse me I always burp in all my videos sorry y'all so most 18 year olds most seniors are going to be 18 years old um so a freshman is just I told you kind of the age ranges and they're like the fresh meat it's like I don't really know how else to describe that sophomore you're kind of middle of the road junior you're middle of the road junior year in America is when most people have to take a lot of in-state testing I don't know if that's a thing really here in Australia but it's like standardized testing so basically you take a bunch of tests that everybody takes and it just kind of like ranks you. Um, there's also a thing called the SAT that I think you would maybe more take, you could take it maybe as a junior, but I think most people take it senior year, maybe at the beginning. Um, and it's very common in America to take a lot of SAT prep classes. So like if you have a lot of money or even if you don't have a lot of money necessarily, I think it's more common with rich kids. But if you just have parents who have set aside a fund for you, even if you don't have a lot of money, it's very common for those types of people to study really hard because like to get into like Harvard or like Princeton or something like that, which is what in America we would call Ivy League schools, you um, need good scores. There's the SAT and the ACT. Now the SAT is a little bit more important and that's graded on a scale like 1600, 1800, that kind of thing. And then the ACT is more like 20, 25, that sort of scale. And like I said, the SAT is going to be more important. Now we have a thing called kindergarten, which is going to be your little baby people um they're probably like five or six and then you have preschool which is before that and when you're in preschool there is half day preschool um and with kindergarten as well there's so for preschool and for kindergarten because that's your little kids who are ages like four or five and six you have um half day which is you would just go till maybe like noon and then your parents would come pick you up like 8 a.m to noon and if not you could go to full day kindergarten which would be i think until three o'clock so maybe like 8 a.m until three o'clock um and the reason that they do that is because kids are young and sometimes they don't want to be away from their mothers and just things like that also as i'm talking i'm realizing that i'm seeing a lot of stuff and so i might have to make this video a couple parts it might not be able to fit all into one video so we will see Next, you have elementary school. Now, elementary school is starting from preschool and it goes all the way up until the fifth grade within America. So um, that's just like you have preschool, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Now, when you're in the fifth grade, you are ages 10 turning 11 in the fifth grade. So you can just kind of like reverse that. So obviously in fourth grade, you're nine turning 10 um, and all that kind of stuff then you go on to a thing called middle school which is going to be grades Ooh, a huge magpie just get in my backyard i want you guys to know everyone tried to comment on my videos the birds aren't vicious you guys a magpie attacked my host brother and he was bleeding so for all of you little haters in the comments like that doesn't happen yes it does it might not have happened to you but i know multiple friends who have been attacked and every time i'm walking i'm even more paranoid because all my american friends like half of them have been attacked i'm so scared plus like i said my host brother's head was bleeding i like saw him come home and he was like yeah like legitimately so scary get out of the backyard anyway moving on middle school um middle school is sixth through eighth grade and that is kind of you're just like 
you're not in elementary school anymore so you're like yeah, i'm so cool but then you're not in high school yet which you're so you're still kind of like just middle of the road so you try to like rule over the elementary school kids but you're still like a kid compared to all the high schoolers so you're just kind of in the middle like yeah, i don't really know what i'm doing i'm just kind of floating around these are your really really awkward years and yeah, I didn't really have the most traditional middle school experience because I went to a school for the arts. It's kind of like if you've ever seen Fame, like I had a really crazy school. People wore tutus to school, Pokemon costumes. We got to paint our lockers. We were weirdos, okay? <laughs> so I'm not gonna really, like, we didn't even have grades, like A, B, C, D, E, F. What am I talking about? We don't even go that far. Um, yeah, so the next is high school, which I kind of explained a little bit the ages that you would be. You would be 13 turning 14 freshman year, 15 turning 16, sophomore year, 16 turning 17, junior year, and 17 turning 18, senior year. Sophomore is when you have all these school dances. You have homecoming, which is like, like homecoming king and queen, where it's like the school royalty. There's like, there's one picked for each grade, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, there's a homecoming. You also have prom, which is like a really big thing in senior year. Everyone tries to like win prom queen fun fact i actually was the prom queen my senior year but we didn't my school wasn't really big on like prom or anything like that like a lot of schools it's like a really big deal but my school was a lot more nonchalant like nobody like ran for prom queen you just kind of pick like somebody who's just like nice and like you like at my school what i found is like nobody like normally like, the popular girls at schools will like win prom queen but at my school it was like always like just like nice people who would win and like maybe people who weren't even like all that well known so it was really cool that I won. I remember I was so caught off guard and surprised, like, whoa. But traditionally, in general, in American schools, prom queen's like the popular, like, beauty queen girl who's like, mm, and she's like kind of mean, probably. I don't know. That's <laughs> all the other schools I know prom queen wasn't like super nice. But at my school, like I said, because even when I was a sophomore, I remember my friend won her senior year and she was like so nice and like sweet. She was on the volleyball team. She's just like a nice girl. Anyway, um, School dances are a big thing in the United States. I'm gonna talk about the grading system. You have A, B, C, D, and F. Why did, Why am I, like, why was that so hard for me? It's because while I'm here in Australia, I don't have that grading system, so I'm confusing myself. Yeah, so you have A, B, C, D, and F. Um, and A is like, great, you've just done a great job. B is like, pretty good. C is just like, you're really, really average. Not great, not bad. D is like, ooh, Mm -mm, mm -mm. and f is like okay you just suck you're just you just failed <laughs> and f is failing d is failing depending on the schools that you are at um so if you were to compare it to what you guys have here and outstanding in australia so out there's like outstanding in australia commendable satisfactory unsatisfactory is what i think it is and the outstanding is like an a plus in america the commendable is like a B in America, the satisfactory is like a C, and the unsatisfactory is like an F, um, and maybe even a D, because I think a D is unsatisfactory as well. Um, so that's how all of that works, because in Australia, at least at the uni that I go to, it's not a, um, a B, C, D type of thing. Um, the next thing that I want to get in on is like, uh, at least what I've noticed here is like the grading rubrics not the great like the grading rubric itself isn't super vague but the actual assignment is very vague so the assignment will be like write a reflection on this book and that doesn't say anything else in the assignment description and then you just have to like try to read the rubric that's like out like it'll be like outstanding and it'll tell you what you have to do that like, gives a good description of characters um da -da -da. like it'll and then it'll be like commendable does i don't know like do you guys know what i'm trying to say and so I just struggle with the assignments here because they're so, so vague, the actual description. Like normally in America, it would be like, give a reflection on this book. Make sure to point out the author's key points and things that you found interesting um, and um, give a summary of your favorite points. I don't know if I just was redundant and repeated things, but you guys know what I'm saying. Like, it'll be like a, 
like a paragraph or something of like what the assignment is whereas here it's just like two sentences at least the schools that i'm going to and that is hard next turn it in is used very heavily from what i noticed in australia which is like a plagiarism checker and they're very like don't plagiarize don't plagiarize don't plagiarize hey hey hey, hey don't plagiarize don't do it don't do it don't do it don't plagiarize don't plagiarize don't plagiarize, don't plagiarize. And i'm like yo are people just plagiarizing everywhere because why are you guys so crazy about this because in the u.s they're like don't plagiarize but like honestly people get away with it like really they do i know people who like plagiarize and not get caught at all because there's no like we don't have to turn it in electronically from what i've noticed in australia everything's like electronic it is so crazy i'm not used to everything being electronic um but i like haven't had to turn in a paper copy of anything the next thing is back home at my college i like the guidance counselor there tried to be rude to me like why are you taking a 200 level course that's sophomore level and she was so mean to me like you're not gonna get credit and I was like okay um what but then I talked to my counselor here who told me that because in America we have a freshman in college a sophomore in college a junior in college and a senior in college which basically mirrors exactly what those tiers would be in um high school it's just like the same thing but just mirrored for the older ages um and so within that freshman year you take very very general credits you just take like even if you're like a biology major you might take a class on like people skills or like a math class or a drawing class you just take a lot of like general classes that might have nothing to do with being a biology major or like learning how to like deal with the body and how it works so you take very general classes freshman year sophomore year you'll take about like kind of half and half like half and half like general credits you might get to take a zumba class but then you also will take more things geared towards if you're let's just go with education if you're an education major you might take some more education classes then junior and senior year you don't have to take any more general courses you're taking upper level like hard rigorous i'm a teacher you know you're doing your student teaching um all your classes are with people who are just other education majors whereas freshman and sophomore year you might be with a bunch of people you might be with a biology major you might be with a communication major you might be with everybody freshman and sophomore year so back to what i was saying about the 200 level courses um so 100 level courses are for freshmen 200 for sophomore 300 for juniors and 400 level is for seniors but in australia um 200 level here is actually considered junior level classes and 300 level in australia is considered like senior level because you guys basically cut out the freshman year so right when you get to college or you guys call it uni here sorry it's very common to call uni what you guys call uni in australia college in america like you would say oh i go to a university but people will all say like what college do you go to and then you would say like harvard university or like something like that but we don't call it university in, in america we call it college all of them it doesn't matter if it has university in the title we're still going to call it college um so anyway back to what i was saying the 200 this is such complicated stuff that it feels so jumbled so if you guys don't understand anything make sure you just leave it in the comments yeah so because you guys cut all of that out the 200 level courses are like a junior and the 300 level courses are like a senior so i was taking like kind of like junior level courses senior level courses while i'm here in australia but back home my counselor thought that i wasn't so but when they transfer over that is how it will transfer um so that had to get all worked out but that is a big difference i noticed because like i was thinking that my trans my credits weren't even going to transfer back home yeah so um what i've noticed in australia i was talking to somebody who told me that she was like grade 11 and i'm pretty sure she was 15 turning 16. so that's i don't really have a lot of experience with anything besides uni here so i'm sorry i can't really talk about like primary school and all that stuff but i do know in america we don't have anything called primary school um so yeah like i said if you're an australian and you know that maybe leave it in the comments for some of the american people but i do know a lot of my viewers are australian so i hope me talking more primarily from the perspective that i am aware of which is america that that was kind of helpful for you guys um i will maybe try to do a part two if you guys have a bunch of questions about the Amer american education system that i can answer and maybe if you're american and have questions about australian education system you can still leave it in the comments and other people can answer it for you um again sorry that this was 
kind of vague. I just tried to give you as much as I could right now. And like I said, if you guys have specific questions I didn't answer, just let me know. Um, give this video, video, give this video, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Please continue to comment to me, you guys. The thumbs up in the comments are so, so incredibly helpful. Also subscribe if you aren't already. My channel is growing and it's all thanks to you guys. You guys are amazing. I love you so, 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 so much. Um, yeah, this video is pre-filmed because right now I am in um, Melbourne or New Zealand, but I hope that you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. I love you.